Hi everyone, welcome to the It Moms channel on Parents TV. I'm your host, Renee Seiler. Today I've got all the goods and how all you good enough mothers out there can get through Halloween. We're talking costumes, candy, and all the stuff that goes with it. First, we have Jessica Hartshorn from American Baby Magazine here to show us some fun costumes for your little one. Hi, yeah. Jessica. Hi. How you doing? Good. And I'm all about costumes you can buy because I'm not a crafty person. <laughs> You're not a crafty person. Okay, good. <laughs> Which is I, fine. I, I like that idea, too. And what look, you got? This is $10 at Babies R Us, and it's basically a newborn gown, but makes your, your baby a little ghosty. I love oh, it. Cute. I love it. And I kind of love these things that have second lives. So um, there's this whole message from the Heart Collection at JCPenney where you can have a little strawberry for Halloween, and then it's pajamas underneath, you know, oh. that you can use the rest of the winter. So for $30, you're really getting Cute. And they can go right to bed after trick-or-treating. They go right to <laughs> exactly. bed. Exactly. And if you're looking to save money, there's also um, all kinds of costumes at BJ's for like $13. Yeah, like that's, all, that's a clearance place, a whole, like a Sam's BJ's or a... BJ's yeah, is, yeah. Mm -hmm. like Where, a, warehouse. They buy something. in bulk, and so you get some, some serious bargains. Okay. Um, and then there's sort of stuffed animal technology in a lot of Halloween costumes these year. This year, so this is from um, Disney Store. It's a Donald. There he is. And look at the, the head. It's like, oh, it's like a stuffed animal. I adorable. love it. All right. And it makes a little Donald. I like this one because it's reversible. So again, if you have a, uh, you know, to get more wear out of it, you can be Dorothy and you can be the Good Witch if you oh, switch it to the other side. Oh, go. great. It's also good if you've got a daughter who changes her mind like, all the time. Excellent. Okay. Wants to be. And this and last one? Pottery Barn Kids, if you can spend, you know, more like $60, has phenomenal Ooh. outfits, including yeah. this banana. They have a robot, a hedgehog, a... A sandwich, a hot dog, like oh, all wow. kinds of hilarious, and that's part of Yeah, but you're going to spend some bucks there. All right, so yeah. just know that. All right, well, yeah. that, that's good. We have the range here. We have a little fashion show, though, too, yeah, with, uh, with a couple of well, a couple of kids that you know very well. <laughs> Shall we bring out um, Alice in Wonderland first? Sure. All right. Out, Alice. Hi. This is my daughter, Grace. This is a Disney Store outfit, too. You know, Hi, Disney Store Grace. has all the princesses, and you'll spend maybe $40 for the dress, and then... It starts to add up when you add all the accessories, but the accessories oh, really so the, make the it. the dress and the accessories come separately? Exactly. So oh, $40 to go. get the dress. If you want to spring for the headband, the shoes, you'll pay a little extra. Excellent. Okay. Super cute, though, right? I think we have a fire chief. Come yeah, on out, firefighter. Let me see you. He's wearing an outfit from FAO Schwartz. Oh. Uh, they have some really you know, premium stuff in all price ranges from different companies. Come on over here, baby boy. Right. And uh, um, this one does come with the hat. Which and I again, is this key. is for moms who don't see themselves as particularly crafty or don't have time to do oh, Right, or like run that. out all to right. buy all the different pieces to make something. You know, and, and last but not least, you know, because we can't leave out the little ones. So no. let's look at Brooke here. Look, look She's it. a literal angel. Look at this. This is from, um, it's sold at FAO, but it's Tutu Couture is the name of the company. <laughs> they make these phenomenal tutus for little girls. You can turn them into angels or ladybugs or bees. I'm actually or surprised ballerinas. that she's as comfortable in this as she is. She's because it looks like it, you would right? think that the tool might be a little uncomfortable. This is very oh, soft. No. Just the feathers. You know, Great. she was meant to be a diva. You can yeah, she that. was. She was meant to be an <laughs> angel. All right, so there you go. In all the price ranges. Her. Yeah, just do a little tiny bit of shopping around. You can maybe come up with some great ideas and some good bargains, huh? Exactly. And all I right. say, you know, buy early so they don't sell out because they don't actually overstock yeah. Halloween costumes. Yeah. All right, Jessica, thanks so much. And Joe, thank you. And Grace, you look great. Thank you guys so much. If you're trying to save a little bit of cash this Halloween, though, we do have a great solution. You can make your own costume. We'll show you how right after this. Don't go away. Another Parents TV on-demand video is coming up next. Hi, we're back with Abby Pecorello, better known as the Crafty Mama. Abby's here today to show us how to make some great Halloween costumes that are easy and cheap. Those are two of my favorite words, actually. Mine as well. <laughs> it's great to no, be here. Well, welcome. And I was just admiring this table and thinking, you know, this is all really great stuff. And it looks like you just, it's the personal touch that makes it so great. Yes, I like adding a little personal flair, you know, initials or kids' photos, their names to everything, just because, you know, to show that you're celebrating your own child. Right, it's great. Now, let's start with the tutus. You say you can make one Yes, yourself. in, uh, yeah, 10 minutes. It's with the 10-minute no tutu. No sewing, no mess, no fuss. No hot glue even. Oh, wow. All right. It's How, awesome. What do we do? All you need is a little elastic hair band. You okay. can get these at the dollar store. I know you love cheap. You get yeah. six for a dollar. <laughs> so you could just make six tutus. And you take a uh, tool. You cut it up into strips. It depends on how long you want your tutu. If you want it long and balletic, you might want a 20-inch oh. strip. Short, you might want a 6 to 12-inch strip. And you just tie it's it just around. Just a plain old tie like just that. Just like tie a it little, around. Okay. You keep tying and tying and tying. And 
about 40 pieces of tulle later. You don't tie it too tight. Yeah. And you, you want to slide them together. And you like know, that. your kids could help with this. Oh. This is what's so great. You can add ribbons and rhinestones to add flair to the tutu. You can put flowers on it. You can put pom poms on it. We have pom poms on one. Ah. Anything. You're, it's really just use your imagination. This Pumpkin. one you actually did, you used um, ribbons. Yeah. There's a Oh, there's some jewels some in there jewels. and use different types of tool. Yeah, oh, that's I kind of went with a wider rim tool. I put some little ribbons and jewels in it. And this is one of my, my daughter's favorites. It's extra oh, yeah. poofy. Yeah, that's that's one yeah. of my favorites. Extra too. poofy. All right, let's talk about these great little hats. Oh, these too. are great. This is the no so mohawk hat. Mm -hmm. Your kid is like a rock star, a punk rocker. You don't have to kind of go giving them a buzz. You All can right. kind of work the mohawk like this. Or if they're a stegosaurus, okay. you know, and they yeah. get cold. Um, you just need a piece of fleece. Mm -hmm. um, you cut it into a helmet shape like that. Okay. Uh, you can use an existing hat that your child has or measure the circumference of their head and figure it out. Um, you take an eyelet plier that right. you can get at any craft store and you punch holes. Okay, I see, it's, but look, these holes are small and you've made them a little bit bigger. How did you do that? How do, you know what I do? I you make them bigger by fussing, okay. you know, by taking the, um, taking the piece of fleece yeah. and putting Walk it through. Into. All right. Yeah. You also have some great things out here. These little appliques like the one you have on, on your shirt and, and this one here. How do you do that? That's just special. This, yeah, this is awesome. This is iron-on transfer paper that you can get at any office supply store. I have every image on here. I have the facts of life. I have an artichoke. I have dinosaurs. Whatever my daughter's in, awesome. she has a t-shirt to celebrate it. You go to Google Images and pick up, you know, images. Of course, you can't sell them. You know, yeah, right. That's not fair. Okay. Um, but uh, you pick them up and uh, you print them up onto the paper and iron them on. There you go. All yeah. right. And all of these projects and then some in your book. Yes, all the in Crafty, Crafty Mama. Mama. All mm -hmm. right, great. Thank you so much, Crafty Mama. Well, after you get the costumes, then you have to worry about all the candy. Well, I've got some tips to get you through the holiday without busting right out of your jeans. For more, you can go to my website, goodenoughmother.com. One of the messiest Halloween traditions is carving pumpkins. And joining us today is Liz Zach from Parents.com to show us some alternatives to the traditional jack-o'-lantern. Hi, Liz. Hi. Good to see you. Nice to be here. Thanks I, for having me. This was a lot of fun, and this is part of the tradition, but it's kind of messy and mm -hmm. gross with the scooping out and everything. But before we get there, let's talk about some real basic safety tips that we need to all keep in mind. Absolutely. Kids love to carve pumpkins, but it's kind of a dangerous deal when you're dealing with knives and sharp implements like that. So anybody under the age of five really should not be holding the knife. Yeah, good idea. Um, but there's lots of stuff that kids under five can do. Um, you can give them the pumpkin and they can trace out the design themselves and then mom can, mom or dad can actually cut it out. You can decorate the pumpkin with um, stickers. Use your hot glue gun, use your hot glue gun and some yarn as and long some as yarn mom or dad hair. Was Exactly, okay. exactly. And for kids over five, you can um, kind of cut with them and by by that they can kind of hold your hand as you carve out the you know the different elements of the jack lantern. All right, you have kind of a cool thing, and you, we can get these on the Parents.com website. Yes, these templates we have that some you can really transfer fun templates. onto onto the pumpkin. Now, how do you do that? Yep, we've got you know lions and jack o' lanterns and all kinds of stuff, and I'll just show you really quickly because um, we've got small pumpkins here. Okay. How to do like just the head of the jack of the um, of the skeleton here. You put the template up against the pumpkin and then you bend a paper clip open mm -hmm. um, and you poke holes around the black line of the template all the way through until you get into the pumpkin. And this is something that a, a little kid could do. This is absolutely something right. that a little kid could do with mom's help. No, okay. no knives yet. No, no. Um, okay. Then you're going to take a, a magic marker and you're just going to trace the lines on the pumpkin and then you're going to get your template. Oh, look at that. And, and then you would the, cut this. Now, there are some special carving tools also available, there right? Are, are those carving safe tools. for kids or no? We should just leave the cutting to the parents. I think you leave the cutting to the parents. I mean, some of those carving tools are made with plastic and mm. not, you know, kind of like iron and stainless steel, so they're a little bit uh, safer. But, you know, great activity for kids is scooping. All right. Well, yes, yeah, dirty work. Which, my kids are here, and they, come on up, you guys. They actually did. They, they Incredible didn't, they pumpkins. Didn't cut, they did great pumpkins. Mm -hmm. They didn't do the cutting, but they did actually do the scooping. This is Cole, and this is Casey. You guys turn your pumpkins around so we can take a look at them. Nice. So, Cole, what is yours looks angry. Is it the angry pumpkin? <laughs> and yeah. he did a little bit of the marker action and the carving action. Mm -hmm. And Casey, what about yours? What did you do? Just um, a sweet like, pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, and did you guys scoop them out? Mm -hmm. What was that like? 
gross goat. Gross. Yes. It's pumpkin guts. Of course it's gross. An excuse to get <laughs> messy, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Great. So the idea, though, that this really could be a family fun activity and, and safe. You Absolutely. Safe. Absolutely. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. All right. And for more great Halloween tips, you can always go to parents.com. Well, thanks for watching the It Moms channel on Parents TV. Make sure you have a happy and safe Halloween.